Well, folks, one of the leakers is claiming that he has seen Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Is it gonna have skill based matchmaking? Is it not gonna have skill based matchmaking? We have an update to that story, and let me tell you, man, most of you will be looking like this when we go through that story. We're also hearing about PlayStation Mobile, and I just wanna get right into it. If you're new, make sure to smash. And coming in at our number eight spot, uh, we're actually hearing about the, the UbiCap Plus situation out here. We're hearing that Ubisoft Plus could be coming to Xbox Game Pass soon, according to Ubisoft Netherlands and then the homie says they uh, could be a uh, very well be a mistranslation or a mistake so take with a grain of salt and I mean damn bro like everywhere you look everybody's trying to have a Ubisoft plus out there Xbox plus PlayStation plus EA play out there like can we just stop with the subscriptions out there I mean listen man but you know what quickly after the homie Gary <laughs> Gary came out and he says that well Ubisoft already confirmed that UB Plus is a separate service because UbiCaps came out and they said that uh, hey yeah uh, Ubisoft Plus will be a separate subscription from Game Pass but keep an eye out for more news and launch dates day of sun and listen man this does not confirm or prove that whether it's gonna be coming to Game Pass or not because uh, companies they do that all the time they always deny stuff and then they come out and they just like uh, mm -hmm, we're gonna be having that and and then we actually have it and if Ubisoft plus actually comes to game pass it's good news for the homies that play on that bot console okay like let me just keep a bug 50 we also got GTA 5 update 1.56 damn it brings motion blur slider adaptive trigger fix and stability improvements on PS5 and this update is not just for like the PS5 and the Sony ponies it also is for the Xbox and the Xbox stud muffins out there obviously for PS5 you got adaptive triggers you got matchmaking and net Network, you got improvement motion blur this and that but for other console or I should say for the bot console it also brings in a couple of fixes it also brings fixes for the jet engine for the Sony Pony 5 and all around it's it, it's a decent update let's be real but the only thing that's not mentioned in the patch notes is, is the shark cards like do we need to buy like more shark cards right now to be able to make that money in GT online I'm not sure fellas because after all we're talking rockstar games okay in fact like PS you came out and the homie Okami actually went around the Twitter streets. Uh, shout out to the homie Oli for adding me in the situation and the fallen goose. Uh, we're gonna smash a like button and we're in that Gotham Knights is rated in Taiwan for PS5 and Series X and last gen versions are not mentioned. Damn son. And the homies are dropping W around the streets out there and some people out there like handing out L's uh, because they're saying that it should have been on the PS4 jet engine and a lot of homies are saying that it should have also been on the Xbox One VCR and I'm like damn man. Now I really want to know what a stuff muffin like you think on the situation should it come out on the ps4 jet engine should it also come out on the xbox one vcr you be the judge man let me know in the comments below but also in the news apparently starfield former dev says that the game has an overabundance of content and bethesda will likely need to cut content to ship it ship it on time damn so we're gonna be having a whole lot of uh, hopefully not 20 pounds of cut content from the game and they also say that it's a good looking game but not on the level of horizon forbidden west i mean Diable Diable. Quickly after the pony started patrolling, the, the bot started patrolling, and listen, fellas, it is not happening, okay? You cannot stop a pony from patrolling. You cannot stop a bot from patrolling unless God is willing to intervene. If you do not believe me, let me show you the street. I uh, shut it to the homies for adding me in the situation. A pony came out and says, that Starfield roadmap incoming just like Cyberpunk and Halo Infinite. But Tesla games never had the best graphics of their release year. Uh, Lamel, basically, the game is not ready yet. But but still launching this holiday, Halo Infinite and Cyberpunk all over again. I mean, damn, damn. And listen, man, I'm gonna stand up right now. I'm gonna put both of my hands around my hip area. I'm gonna keep my chin up like that. Listen, man, I know that we're in the bot and the Sony Pony uh, territory out there and a lot of the ponies and bots are patrolling everywhere. And this can be a little bit offensive for one party or another, but at the end of the day, I'm just covering the gaming news, okay? This is not my opinion. This is what uh, the homies are thinking and saying based on the information but also in the news apparently sony and microsoft 
are among companies entrusted in purchasing Warner Bros. Studios or IPs. My god, this can be massive, okay? But listen, man, is Microsoft really gonna be purchasing? Is Sony really gonna be purchasing? I'm not sure, okay? In my honest opinion, we over here at Stud Muffin Corporation, I feel like that we need uh, just uh, small donations out there. Maybe one of you can drop like five bucks, maybe 10 bucks, maybe 20 bucks, and I can also do my part and drop like a buck 50 in it for the billionth time and we can all come together and just let's just forget about ubisoft let's just buy warner bros before xbox buys it before sony buys it out there smash the like button if you agree but listen man warner bros really got decent games they got hogwarts legacy which i'm really excited for i really hope this game doesn't turn out to be hogwarts legacy 2077 or 2042 if that turns out listen man i'm gonna quit gaming okay there's still hope with gta 6 but if gta 6 is bad if hogwarts legacy is bad i'm just gonna quit gaming oh god man they also got suicide squad they got gotham knights and needless to say they, they got a lot of really good games my guy if sony buys them if xbox buys them it's gonna be massive for these companies but at the end of the day i'm not sure if microsoft is really gonna buy now i'm not saying that microsoft cannot afford it they can afford like literally everything out there okay but at the end of the day they are still in trouble with the acquisition deal yep the shareholders have approved the deal but at the end of the day the ftc is still breathing down their necks out there they're still uh, stopping them from doing helicopters with their woolly so in this climate it's uh, a little bit tough guys I, I, I gotta i gotta keep up with 50 man and for this following story a lot of people started taking their pants down so much so that we got the <laughs> we got the homie okami came out and he says that may 2022 video game releases no big triple a releases this month but there's a ton of good indie games and you got like a lot of good games you got track i mean i don't i never heard of track the only games i'm familiar with is evil dead sniper elite and i feel like that both of these games are really gonna be solid these are indie games don't get me wrong but evil dead my god they had that chick that was looking like a snack in that i mean god damn okay like i saw the gameplay i was shaking and listen man i started catching a lot of feelings and i remember when they first revealed that game i was also live streaming on the channel and a lot of the stud muffins a lot of you were also catching feelings in the chat and sniper elite is also looking good the only problem with this game in my opinion in my opinion that it's gonna have the babushka setting and this is probably one of the reason why call of duty vanguard is not the best game out there to create expansive <laughs> worlds with new gameplay experiences that are more immersive despite what the homie slushy says okay i love you slushy and this following story, I feel like that it's gonna be good for the PlayStation Nation. It might not be, I'm not sure, because apparently we're hearing about PlayStation Mobile out there. Uh, I'm, I don't think this is about the PSP or like a portable device, even though we heard for the longest amount of time, we had a lot of rumors that did say that we're gonna be having a PSP, maybe like a portable device. Maybe it's just gonna be PlayStation Mobile, but apparently we're hearing that PlayStation is hiring former Kabam and Zynga executives to its mobile business. Firm named Chris Davish, a senior director, of mobile beach dev and Oliver Courtmanche as head of model product. I mean, damn, bro. And this article is talking about, and I quote, in fiscal year 21, we will begin to publish some of our iconic PlayStation IP on mobile, and we anticipate that in 2021 that will not provide a significant profit flow, but we do anticipate, uh, I, I believe that they meant to say like 2022. By the looks, it feels more like that we're gonna be getting PlayStation games on mobile instead of us getting like a PSP from this mm -hmm. city situation out there which i mean i know that a lot of you would be looking like this in the situation but it is what it is okay but also in the news coming in at our number one spot the homie tom henderson came out and he actually started dropping a bunch of numbers out there these are the coordinates that uh, i believe that were in the modern warfare 2 logo revealed but then he followed it by saying that just speculating but on an early modern warfare 2 image i've seen it did have a soldier rappelling down the side of a building like this from Call of Duty Ghost. And yeah, by the looks of it, the homie, the ghost of hope, Tom Henderson, and a bunch of NFL players out there have seen early gameplay. I know that some of you will be looking like this. Some of you will be like, yo, Skizzle, are we gonna get skill-based match we get in the game? Say it, it ain't so. And listen, man, I, I cannot say anything when the, the, the news is saying we're gonna be having skill-based match weekend in Modern Warfare. <laughs> modern warfare 2 but reports are saying that it is not gonna be as tough as uh, how it was during modern warfare 2019 so that's the good news but we're still gonna be having skill based match in the game and as albert einstein once said no matter how good a call of duty title is if it has skill based match again 
it is Shiza. So yeah, man, uh-uh, don't shake prematurely for Modern Warfare 2022, but let's hope that the skill-based management game is not as thick as Modern Warfare 2019. But click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. Just click it, man. You're gonna 